Joining us in the kitchen today is Funk Flex. My father loves saying that. He's got to be careful saying it, too. He's a producer. He runs his own website and two mobile apps. He's a DJ on New York City's Hot 97. You can also find him on This Is Hot 97 on VH1, airing Mondays at 10.30 p.m. Let's get to know him and his Nick suffering a little bit. Funk, I see you're wearing that Reds cap. No Knicks gear today. Why is that? Why would that be that you're not wearing any Knicks gear when you're a big Knicks fan? Oh, the Knicks always let us down. That's not a secret, is it? Is it a secret? <laughs> but hold on a second. Help me understand something. How did this Knicks uh, season, how did this play out for you? Who were you angriest at? Where did your anger get directed? I'm going to tell you something. I, I wasn't angry because I am used to a disappointing Knicks season every season. See, I don't get excited. I'm not one of those guys who say, oh, the Knicks, at the beginning of the season, oh, the Knicks look good this year. They got a chance. I always go into this as nothing's going to happen. So I wasn't disappointed. I knew they'd be here. Give me 100% undistilled honesty here. I say, J.R. Smith, you think what? Um, Too much partying, maybe. You know, that's what I think. I'm being honest. Sometimes with you, I would imagine. No? Um, I, he parties with me sometimes, but I'm okay with it. You know, I mean, look, he does the partying, right? But I think sometimes fans got to understand is that's what he's always done. So when he has a great day, he partied last night. And then when he has a bad day, he partied last night. So what do, I don't know what, what should we do here. Well, I mean, you say if you say he parties too much when you're the DJ, you could be like, yo, I'm not playing no more records until J.R. Smith goes home and goes to bed because he got a game tomorrow. You could do that. You're part um, of the problem. You're part I, of the problem, honestly. Uh, you know what? You're probably right. I'm, 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 you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Paint the picture for us. What is it like? You're out with J.R. Smith. What is it? Like? What's the party look like? Um, I mean, the party's usually amazing. Usually an amazing party, amazing women. Uh, a little bit of Ciroc and, you know, Bel Air Rose splashing around. It's usually, it's usually pretty good, man. It's usually, it's usually, uh, usually a lot of ladies. All the rappers come on your show and they freestyle. Give me the guy who was there and you're watching him and you're like, this is awful. I mean, this is not very good. This is the worst. Mm. Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me that guy. The guy you were just <laughs> thinking of. Give me that guy. The guy you were just thinking of. Give it up. Let's go. Funk, let's go. It'll be our fault. We brought it out of you. you I got, say all it. right, look, listen. I got to give you a little something. Can I say something before I say afterward. it? Afterward. No, afterward. You can say it afterward. <laughs> just say it, and then afterward you can say it. You can explain yourself. This is bad. <laughs> all right. Come on. All right. Um, <laughs> the freestyle that wasn't very good. On my show, um, it had to be two chains. And what happened? And what happened? Um, uh, I think, I you know honestly, I think I caught him off guard. I think he didn't expect me to ask him to do it, and because I've I've heard him like on shows freestyling before, so I knew he could handle it. But I think that day he couldn't handle it. Uh, you mentioned, I had read somewhere where you want very badly to meet Christy Alley. This struck me as unusual. I, I don't know that there are a lot of people who, who they, 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 if they had one person to meet, that's what they would choose. Uh, you know, she has the cougar thing going on, you know. What is she like, about 60, maybe? Ooh, don't get me to guessing no. on that. <laughs> uh, but what's happening there? Explain what's happening there. I want to understand this because if I had thought, if somebody made me guess, who does he want to meet, that wouldn't have been at the top of my list. He said, explain what's happening here. I mean, you just said you think she's 60 and that's how you like them. Nobody's letting that slide, Fun Flex. Uh, no, wait, no, you, no. All right, you know what? Look, my girlfriend knows. I got a little thing for, like, older women. So, you know, she, oh. falls, in, she falls into that category. Yeah, who else does? Look, oh, at, the, look at the curiosity he's brought out over here. This is who else falls in that category? You say that Kirstie Alley falls in that category. <laughs> who else? Who else in the cougarific category is Fun Flex talking about? Well, you know what? See, my my uh, my cougar category. I think a lot of men like like the forty. I kind of like that 50, 50 plus. You know, see, I have a theory with this. My my theory is. If you're over 50 and you're trying to keep it tight and you're really uh, working hard at making it happen, 
then you have a <laughs> you have a mind state that you're in, and that mind state you usually carries whatever you're doing during the day, whatever you do at night, or in the bedroom. So if you're in this mind state. At 50, I mean, you know, I think some men want to experience the performance. All right, she's 63, so where are we drawing the line on that one? Um, she carries it well, 63. She's, car she's 63, okay, she's carrying it high for 63. You're friendly with Lala and Carmelo, right? You're friendly with them? Uh, I, I know them, bumped into them, I don't know, you know. Well, who do you think's making that decision about whether they stay in New York or not? I think it's Carmelo Anthony, you know. Aren't you guys tired of this type of conversation all the time of who's going to stay, who's going to go? Like, this team is never, it's never going to be a... He's going he's gonna to start begging here. You're going to no. start begging here. You're going to start begging him to stay, aren't you, Funk? Go ahead. <laughs> Y'all begged him to come. You <laughs> might as well beg him to stay. <laughs> go ahead. You can't act like you're above it. Listen, <laughs> you know what? You want, you want me to give my opinion of Carmelo Anthony right now? Yes. Um, a lot of people say they want to win championships or they want to win in general, any sport, any form of life. Sometimes I don't see that desire in his eyes. I don't see it. I don't see the desire in Carmelo Anthony's eyes. And I hope I'm not offending him you know, I'm in no way or form. So I'm not one of those people begging him to stay. I, I, I love him, man. I love, what, I love what he stands for. I don't think Carmelo Anthony has what it takes to be a champion and to win a championship with the Knicks. I don't think he has it. Thank you for being on with us, Funk. Thank, Thank you. you. Gracias.